Pat Peabody here. And I'm Sherman, huh, Mr. Peabody? Yes, you are Sherman, Sherman. Now, if you'll take your place beside the Wayback Machine, we shall be on our way. Where to today? Today we're traveling back in time to the year 1455 and the place Strasbourg, Germany, where we shall meet the inventor of the first practical printing press, Johannes Gutenberg. All set, Mr. Peabody. Sherman and I enter the Wayback, and in less time than it takes to twitch an eye, we were transported back and into the small printing shop of Herr Gutenberg, where we found the great man hard at work with his new press. Hi, Mr. Gutenberg. I'm Sherman, and this is... Don't bother me, kid. I got a newspaper to get out here, and I can't waste any time if I expect to make the five o'clock edition. Gutenberg continued his work at a feverish pitch. However, when he finally finished... Good, at last I'm done. Mr. Peabody, do you see what I see? I'm afraid so, Sherman. It seems as though Johannes Gutenberg has made a slight mistake. Mistake? What mistake? Where? You have printed the five-star final on pants instead of paper. That's no mistake. It was a calculated decision on papers because I couldn't find paper. But it will never do to have a news printed on a pair of trousers. Why not? See, back here I have printed all of the latest word about the county seat. And down here I put the advertisements because they is on the cuff anyway. All well and good, but Sherman is right. A newspaper should be printed on paper. I already told you I can't find any paper. And there's no time to look for some. Because if I don't meet the five o'clock deadline, the bank is going to foreclose on the mortgage. Hmm, it's three o'clock now. That doesn't give us much time. But I think we can make it if we hurry. Come, Sherman, we will get some paper. Sherman and I dashed out of the print shop and into a butcher shop, which fortunately was right next door. Uh, six pounds of weenies, please. Weenies? But I thought we were after paper. What does the butcher usually wrap weenies in, Chairman? Butcher paper? Yes, but nonetheless, it is paper. Paying for the weenies, we quickly took the package and hurried back to Herr Gutenberg. Oh, that's good. This is just what I've been waiting for. He had been gone for quite some time when suddenly I noticed something very peculiar. Do you hear something, Sherman? Not a thing, Mr. Peabody. Should I? Yes, we should be hearing the sound of Gutenberg's printing press. Something is wrong, Sherman. Hurrying into the back room, we immediately saw that something was wrong indeed. For there sat Johannes Gutenberg eating weenies. Herr Gutenberg, what are you doing? Why, I'm eating the lunch you brought me. What else? I'm afraid that's your second mistake, my friend. That wasn't your lunch. You were to use that paper for your 5 o'clock edition. Oh, I forgot, and it's 4.15 already. Stand back, I got printing to do. Gutenberg flew into his work like a demon, and in record time, he had the job done. I done it. Now I can go out to a corner and sell my very first newspaper. It looked very much like success was his, but suddenly... Egad, what's happening, Mr. Peabody? It sounds like a riot. It is a riot, Chairman, and Herr Gutenberg is just two jumps ahead of it. What happened, Mr. Gutenberg? Didn't the people like your paper? Oh, they liked the paper all right, but what they didn't like was there was no printing on it. It was true. The newspaper he had just printed was completely blank on both sides. For his third mistake of the day, Herr Gutenberg had used the wrong bottle of ink in his press. Invisible ink, that is. Twenty minutes to five, there's still a chance you can make it. It's no use, I can't do it. Why not? I'm all mixed up from my troubles. I can't think of anything to print. Pardon me. Hello? What? 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 Really? Quick, give me the address. Okay, got it. Oh, am I in luck? There's a fire and that's big news. It gives me just what I need to write about. Good, we can be reporters and cover the story for you. Yes, but we must hurry. Get the address, Sherman. Sherman and I raced across town and made excellent time for the signals were with us. However, when we arrived... Can't be right. There's nothing here but a leak. Let me see that slip of paper. Hmm. Just as I suspected, Chairman, you had the paper upside down. You brought us to 666 instead of 999 Schnitzel Street. Gee, I'm sorry, Mr. Peabody. Just where is 999 Schnitzel Street? I'm afraid that's the address of Gutenberg's printing shop. Oh, the fire really wiped me out this time. The only thing I saved was the clock and the press. And it's five minutes to five. I guess there's nothing else you can do, Mr. Peabody. There is always something I can do, Sherman. Gutenberg's five o'clock edition will hit the street right on schedule. Give me a hand. Gosh, you did it, Mr. Peabody, without a minute to spare. Yes, and that is the first true printing of Johannes Gutenberg. Extra, extra. Read all about me. On me. Extra! But tell me, Mr. Peabody, why did you print such big letters on his forehead? That, Sherman, should be quite obvious. Every newspaper has to have a headline.